Uh, today also it is we talk about uh, this one uh, membrane separation process or processes this also somehow we are talking like filtration but what is the difference between filtration and membrane what is the difference any idea can anyone tell me what is the difference between filtration and membrane separation process processes any difference or the same different sama busy yeah it is sama ah, tapi when we are talking about membrane we are talking about nano sized particles we are using we are talking about very very small particles not suspended particles we are talking about very small particles nano size pico size we are talking about salt we are talking about uh, ions we are talking about cations anions so uh, we are talking about dissolve things in water how to make separation okay so we are talking basically about smaller uh, smaller poor size uh, uh, separation what is membrane is very very easy definition is it is defined as a barrier which separate two faces okay and restrict transport of various small cures in selective manners what is needed to make separation we need pressure different concentration temperature uh, electrical potential gradient depends can on can you see the slide sir can you see the slide yes Allah, what is the this problem? It's not moving. I can see, but the slide is not moving. Ah. It is okay, but one problem is. Um, I want to make some, you know, if I use the, the format here, okay, I will go out. I cannot see. If I use screen only, I cannot make any marking. You can see it clear, right? Yes, I can see now. OK, so here uh, we are here. All right, can see or cannot? Can. Uh, move, screen move or no? moving all right by go so what is membrane very simple definition okay you read uh, who is talking with me daniel or sapa kiam okay i'm kiam okay talk kiam okay what is uh, because i already read for you you read one more time it is defined essentially as a barrier which separate two phases and restricts transport of various molecules in a selective manner okay driving by driving by pressure concentration, temperature, and electrical potential gradients. Okay, there are, th this is types, okay, types of uh, membrane. You have thick and thin, liquid and solid, uh, symmetric, asymmetric, natural synthesis, uh, neutral, charged, homogeneous, heterogeneous. So there are different types of membrane. This is the history, actually, the long time ago, is, you know, in 1748, there is a French, French uh, physicist separated uh, the gas alcohol using, uh, this is, this is Khanzir bladder. Okay. And then there are many, many other like 1824 uh, movement of water through biological membrane. 1846 discovery of nitrocellulose give scope to this is uh, micro filtration okay and then 1855 and then developed uh, you can read this one by yourself no problem till became uh, you know nowadays maybe i, I, I here uh, reverse osmosis this one is very important because now if you go to the uh, many shops in front of shops there are ro machine you can get clean water maybe one liter maybe 10 cent very cheap tabby very clean okay 
that they are using revo reverse osmosis. We will talk about reverse osmosis in later, and we have some problems in uh, your book, uh, Jean Koblas. By the way, uh, chapter 14, if I'm not mistaken, I will check the chapter. Huh? Okay. Uh, and then there are also in 2000, 1960, and then uh, there are many progress. And here you see this is the the milestone in membrane development. This is 1960. What they what they have done that time, okay. And then 1970s. What kind of uh, progress they have done? And then 2010. This is became to carbon nanotube membrane. In this uh, membrane, you can separate. Gases, if you have oxygen and nitrogen, which is air, by membrane separation, you can get oxygen and nitrogen. So see how, how very, very, very small, poor size. It is like filtration. Tabi, you can make also separation. Okay. So there are, the, you know, there are different, uh, especially nowadays, uh, the, the most important things we are talking about uh, water contamination. Because many diseases, many problems, factories, uh, in any factory there, are, there is a waste. And that waste must be treated before, before discharge to the, to the open environment. So what they are doing, of course, there are uh, many treatment processes. Inshallah, you will study uh, year four about uh, wastewater engineering. That is okay. Uh, but... I don't want you to, 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 to say that only membrane can make filtration, tabula like that, because membrane is also very costly. So if you do everything by membrane, cost will be very mahal. But certain things, for example, like you want to separate heavy metals, uh, there is a way you make activated carbon bole. Activated carbon can take on the surface, absorb heavy metal on the surface and get clean water. But sometimes you have uh, very toxic and cannot be removed easily, like arsenic. So in this case, you need uh, R, uh, reverse S osmosis, RO, so that you can get clean water. So in, uh, in, uh, in treatment or wastewater treatment in general, you have three different types of wastewater engineering. You have physical, you have chemical, you have biological. Uh, membrane separation, you think it is physical or chemical or biological? Who can tell me? Biological. Biological. Mayor said biological. Sabalagi. No idea. Physical, maybe? Ah, physical, ah, somehow physical, and, and oh, okay. Other things? Chemical? Yeah, it uh, from the from the outside looking, it is looks it looks like filtration. So what you have, you have pore size and all small particles, smaller than the pore size, will be trapped, cannot go. So if you have, for example, salt in water. This salt usually have molecular or molecules size, molecular size bigger than water. So it will be trapped, only water will go very clean. Okay. So it looks like somehow physical, but sometimes also chemical also okay. So both of you are correct. Okay. Uh, biological also we can add to membrane. Uh, also we can buy some bacteria to make more separation, also bullet. It can be three, but here we will focus about physical separation, meaning that any small particle than the membrane size will pass through the, the, the porous media. Any particle bigger than that porous media will be trapped and cannot go through the media. Hence, it will be trapped and uh, cleaned. And this is what, how we, we remove in, uh, if you have seawater, it contains high sodium chloride. So RO will be used for that. So you can separate, but the cost is mahal. So what they are doing, uh, they are using this with uh, like uh, other 
like maybe using with uh, with distillation and this distillation used to produce electrical and then electrical will you know if you have electricity you can get some money so you can reduce the cost okay uh, in Malaysia you don't have this problem because all your water coming drinking water coming from the rivers most of the most of drinking water in Malaysia coming from the rivers but in area like Gulf countries in Arabia in Middle East uh, there is not too much river not too much rain not too much underground water so most of drinking water coming from the sea what they making they making something called desalination desalination means that they remove salt from seawater and bring it to be clean the cost is very high but because they make distillation this vapor can be utilized to produce electrical or electricity and uh, how to say cost will be somehow reasonable if you make distillation or ro only for drinking water then will be very very mahal so this is the the development reach now now carbon nanotubes membrane and now also this uh, membrane can be used in solar energy some cells nowadays they are using membrane to 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 to, to allow certain ionic bonds to go and produce like uh, from sunlight coming uh, electrons and then so they produce uh, solar by uh, membrane so they have many wide many wide applications another application of membrane uh, in dialysis i think in malaysia there are many units for dialysis meaning that people who have kidney failure their kidney doesn't work anymore so every week they must go at least twice three times to the dialysis center that basically use also membrane what membrane they take the blood and then they put solvent and then that solvent will be you know there is separation through membrane that solvent will take all salts accumulated in the blood and clean uh, will go to the body again and then make recycling till all salts will be removed that is also one of the chemical engineering which is also uh, membrane separation i think uh, in malaysia most of kidney failures coming from maybe i don't know usually from drinking water no because drinking water if not clean there are many dissolved ions and this ions sometimes could be like heavy metals heavy metals like arsenic if arsenic inside our drinking water and in very very small concentration if it is even 5 nano uh, not part part per million uh, part per billion also bahia can you imagine very 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 small amount of arsenic in drinking water will will cause many like cancer sometimes also coming cancer also in malaysia how yeah is high because of uh sometimes drinking water sometimes also makanan because if contaminated fish we are eating from the from the from the sea coming and in our makanan then also became problem of uh, many diseases will come so for you as a young generation, please try to drink clean water, try to avoid oily, try to avoid too much sugar. Uh, that is very, very important. Inshallah, you will get very long life, very healthy life. Because if you have one of your relative has kidney failure, you will understand what, what I mean by that. Because one of my relatives had that one and really, really, uh, anyway, try to, to keep your health in, in, in very good condition, inshallah. So what is the basic uh, mechanism of membrane separation? Here, this is the membrane here. If you see here, if you can see here, this is the membrane. Okay. When feed coming, feed coming from here, 
Sometimes there is pressure, especially in RO, pressure coming. So here will 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 give you what permeate. Permeate means that clean water will come. And here retentate will be high concentration, or we call it uh, uh, concentrated steam. For example, if you have here, if if I take uh, if I, we take seawater. Sea water, how much NaCl inside? I will just give you an example to make you understand. Sea water, huh? If you have sea water, how much NaCl in sea water? NaCl. How much NaCl in sea water? Who have any idea? I give you one point if you have very good idea. Mm, Three point five percent. Wow. Bagus. Others? Hmm. Bagus. So if you have one liter of of seawater, how much gram you will get if you make distillation? 35. Ah, bagos. You will get 35 grams. Too much, right? So suppose that you have here one liter of seawater. So meaning that here NSEL will be 35 grams you have. You have 35 grams. Sorry, my writing is not... Uh, okay? If we pass through uh, membrane and we make separation, here you will get very clean water, clean water. It means that there is no salt. This is clean. Suppose that I can, I can get from one liter, I got 50 or 500 milli. 500 milli. How much left? How much will be written tate? 500. Make material balance. You have one liter, half, 500 milli goes here. So this will be 500 milli, right? So total will be one liter, right or wrong? If we assume density sama, if we assume that one liter meaning that one kilogram, if we assume it is pure water, one, kil one liter means that one kilogram, 500 milli will be how much? 500 gram. Here also I have 500 gram. So here, if I have NaCl35, and this 35 all goes here, you think concentration will be higher or lower? Because here I got clean water. Here I will get uh, written it. Here will be higher concentration or lower? Here we said 3.5, 3.5%. You think here, how much will be percent? Here, how much percent? Seven. How much? Seven. Seven, bagus. Ahmad, bagus, Ahmad. So here I got more concentrated water. I hear clean water. So this is the basic knowledge, basic idea of membrane separation. I have high concentration, I got clean water, and I will get high concentration of the salt here. This, if I repeat this many times, this I can extract salt from here and, and can be utilized, can be used as byproduct. Understand or no? Faham, tafam. Faham. Faham, so bagus. So basically, basically what we are doing, we are taking contaminated, we assume this is contaminated water. We pass it through membrane. We will get something called permeate. Permeate means that clean water. And here we'll get retentate. Retentate means that high concentrated water. All right. So if you understand this one, it is very good. This also looks like, like filtration, right? 
but filtration you cannot get 100 here you can you cannot get very clean water also dissolve ion will be still in drinking water here you cannot get 100 percent clean here we assume that all take all salts all and became here high concentration if you make material balance you can get this calculation easily you you would feed f equal p plus r and then concentration here 3.5 multiplied by f okay here, zero multiplied by P, because salt, no salt, plus X multiplied by R. Then you have two equations. You have two unknowns. You can you can get everything from there. Boleta. Bole. All right. So, so this is like, uh, like animation here. This is the driving force. Sometimes we apply pressure. And I will show you later in reverse osmosis, we apply pressure. So we are here feed. And then here, if you see here, this is bigger size molecules, the black one. So when you make, this is ideal membrane. When you apply pressure, clean water only will go. And this will be trapped on the surface of the membrane. Okay. Sometimes here, sometimes if you cannot get, if you cannot get, complete sometimes most of the time uh, size of the molecules will not be homogeneous will be sometimes you know smaller than the, the the membrane size so it goes sometimes you cannot trap all okay here uh, last times I ask you about if you know English room how to calculate an English room you remember or no so here we are talking where we are talking about ions, cations, we are talking about uh, uh, viruses, we are talking about bacteria, we are talking in micro size or sometimes nano size. So instead of using nano size 10 to the power 6 or 10 to the power 9, we are using something called an angstrom unit. We see what is angstrom unit. You see this approximate in molecular weight in this one angstrom, right? Right. Vitol, this one is micro micrometer. This is micrometer. So if you have 10 ingestrom, will equal how much micro? 0.001. Ah, goes. So meaning that if it is nano nanometer, how much? 10 ingestrom will equal 10 nanometer. Faham ta faham? Capital. One ten ingstrom, okay. And units of ingstrom we put a a zero up. I, I don't know here other or tada. We put like this. We put we put something like this. We put a ingstrom and then we put here like this. Something like this. Have you seen this before? Have you seen or no? First time. First time. Sir. First time. Oh. Oh, I think in high school they 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 maybe when they are talking about viruses, talking about some like a very small minute like a microscope and make a magnification. Also we are talking about, but it's okay anyway. If you don't know, ingestrom like this and ten, ingestrom equal to one nanometer is it okay clear so here if you see this is reverse osmosis this will be very 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 small here you from here small here we go bigger 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 like here this is beach sand granular activated carbon this will be in this range meaning that 10 to the power 6 right or 1000 micrometer okay if we are talking about 100 micrometer we are talking about uh human hair we are talking about uh pinpoint we are talking about yeast cell this is like uh yeast you are using at home you know for macanon you put in roti dalam roti if you are going here you are talking about bacteria will be around one micro so this is this is here will be ionic range this is molecular range. This is macro molecular range. Macro means big. This micro is smaller. 
this micro, this is micro, and this is a micro particle. So from here, bigger, and then you go to smaller. Viruses, where? Viruses will be here. COVID in this area. Bahaya COVID, Bacteria sicket bigger. Do you understand? So this diagram gives you uh, particle size for different species and give you which type of filtration for each one. If you are talking about sand and uh, suspended solid, uh, whatever, we use partic uh, particle filtration. This will be paper filtration or whatever. Tada masala. Bigger we go micro filtration. Here we go ultra filtration. Here we go nano filtration. Here we go to reverse osmosis. So this is the smallest treatment method is reverse osmosis. Is it clear or not clear? Yes. Uh, last week we talked about filtration. You think which range? We talk about calcium carbonate, right? Calcium carbonate will be in this granular in this area. So we are talking about uh, filtration by using uh, paper filters or clothes. We are using clothes or there are different types, uh, maybe 45 micro. There are different types of filtration, but we are talking in big size. Uh, Pollen, pollen, you know what is the meaning of pollen? Pollen like what? From flower, plant. Bargus from flower, bargus, right, exactly. This sometimes if you have uh, allergic, when uh, season change and this pollen come out, it comes to nose and make some allergic. So sometimes you have to wear mask. And now people wearing mask by force because of COVID. But in normal, in normal days, some people also has to wear mask because of this uh, pollen. It's very small, small powder. All right, since you understand what is the angstrom, what is the micrometer, what is the picometer, what is the nanometer, which bigger, nano or picometer? Nano. Nano. Nano is bigger. Uh, bigger micro or nano? Micro. Micro, okay. Then you understand, okay. Okay, here there are membrane separation, uh, pressure driving. What used for dri the pressure driving will be RO, reverse osmosis, nanofiltration, ultrafiltration, uh, microfiltration, MBR. MBR, this is uh, what? BR, this is a biological reactor. And this is, I think, membrane biological reactor. And this is gas separation also. Uh, thermal driving will be membrane distillation. Osmotic driving will be forward osmosis. And then uh, charge driving will be electrodialysis. This one very clear application in MANA. MANA very clear. Dialysis where? Hospital, Vital. Yes, yes. You, you want to remove uh, certain salts from blood. When kidney doesn't work, you want to remove all those from blood. So what you do, you go through uh, electrodialysis. Okay, my membrane uh, processes, we have first generation membrane. This is microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration, hydrofiltration, reverse osmosis, electrodialysis. Second generation is gas separation, per vibration, membrane distillation. Okay, this uh, very smaller than this one here. Okay. And then here, separate uh, suspended solid and some colloidal material less than or bigger than 0.1 micro from a feed stream. What you see here, here, uh, for example, here you have macro molecules, meaning that you have water and you have the lamp, this water, you have suspended solid, you have salt, you have whatever. And this is the membrane here. 
Okay. So here, if if the particle size smaller than this membrane, it can pass through. Okay. It can pass through if smaller. If bigger, will be trapped on the surface. This is why we will talk later about fouling. Fouling means that from time to time, like filtration, we talked about filtration last time. This will be, will form a layer here. And then separation will be stopped after a while. In home, uh, why machine at home can last for long? No, no block of this membrane. Who can tell me why? Any idea? If you have BioCure, you have a, a Kowe, if you have uh, nowadays uh, Choco, I don't, I don't know what is the name. There are, there are many different types. Why cannot block easily? What, what, what they are doing to, to maintain a sustainable uh, flow? What they are doing? Maybe I need to bring someone to, to ask. Any idea? No idea. You never notice. That is that is very clear. That is very clear uh, example of membrane and RO also and activated carbon. In that uh, at home, if you have a machine, will be activated carbon add to remove chlorine, whatever, and then finally will come to RO. So why it cannot be blocked easily? Maybe maintenance will come every one year, every six months, and then they make change and make. Why can sustain for a long time? Any idea? Fatiha, I go Fatiha Dulu. I don't know. Uh, mayor, I keep for a while. Qiyam, uh, Qiyam, idea da. Maybe they use many. Use apa? Many stage of filtration. Uh, yeah, but many stage. Yeah, there are many filters. But why they keep it? Okay, Rabi Atul. Para. I don't know, sir. You don't know, Hamiza. I don't know, sir. Don't know, uh, Najmuddin. Reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis, yeah. But why they keep it long? Uh, not not blocked easily. Because the process cycles and they move the dead dead carbon. Amir Amir Din Amir. Don't know, sir. You don't know, Daniel. Sorry, sir, no idea. <laughs> no idea, sir. There are still four here. I cannot display the names. Okay, but I can get here. Fauzan Ada. Fauzan? I don't have idea. You don't have idea? Auni? No idea. I don't know, sir. Son Tatao. Fatiha? But I already I asked her, right? Norin, Norin. I don't know, sir. You don't know? Oh, mashallah. No idea. No idea. Okay, if you notice, when you take water from the machine, there is continuous running of water. Maybe two minutes, three minutes. Why that running? You know why? No, no. Yeah, to keep it clean, to clean any anything trapped on the membrane will be clean by that water coming after you take. Maybe you take oh. for coffee or whatever you drink. After you take hot water, immediately after you stop, there is a continuous running of water coming to the to the to the sink or it is not used water, just cleaning water. Have you noticed or no? 
Ada tak ada? Or only my machine? Ada. Ada. Kuku ha. so and Kowei saya. Kowei, whatever. Uh, Kowei Choco. Uh, another Choco. today. Nowadays apa? Nowadays they have new. Uh, <laughs> there many so difficult to. <laughs> In my house it is bio, bio cure I think. Bio, uh, there are different types. So anyway, continuous running will maintain. Uh, Uh, maintain uh, membrane to be in good condition for longer time. But finally, needs to be changed. Yeah? Need to be clean and need to be changed. Ultra filtration, there is uh, here. Uh, who can read this one? Okay, we, we go to read one by one. Try to fast because if we have time, we solve one problem at least. Today we spend longer time. Okay, maybe we finish at five because from next week we start our review. Okay, you, you read. Daniel, you can read. Okay, we start from Daniel. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, ultra filtration. Uh, separate collider material. Okay. Emulsify oils, microbiological materials, and large okay. organic molecules. Okay. Somewhat dependent on charge of the particle, and okay. is much more concerned with the size of the particle. Okay. Yeah. For such range, what's it? What pronounce? Ah, uh, uh, poor size range between 10 and 1,000. What this I told you here? I got, uh, what's it? Angstrom. 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 Huh? So it means that if I talk uh, in micron, will be 1,000 to? Two point one micro. Zero point one microns. Okay, uh, most, most typical. Micro. Okay. Zero zero point zero five. Uh, what's it? <laughs> This is micro. Micro micro zero zero five micro. Micro mi micro upper. Micro. I didn't write here, but you're supposed to know micro. Yes, micro. <laughs> micro what? Mi Micron. Micro kilo, my, micro, my, micro kilogram, micro second, micro meter, micro apa? Oh no. What's... Uh, we are talking about size, right? So we are talking about length. So it will be micrometer, huh? Micrometer. Okay. Pressure difference, uh, 0.1 to... Micro, eh, for micro, mega, eh? <laughs> Approximately from point one to one? Point zero. Up, upper here, MPA. MPA. What is that MPA? You will be engineer soon. You will be chemical engineer. So maybe after one year, two years, we don't know. So if I, if you don't know what is MPA, that will be big, big, big masala. Sorry, sir. Oh, that is, you know, very bahaya because really cannot accept that. Because we are studying this, uh, we are talking about pressure. So units of pressure, what? What is it? We are talking about pressure, right? Yes. So what units of pressure usually? P equal A. What units? You tell me what units. No units. Ah. Units of pressure upper. PA. PA is Pas what? PA. Pascal. Pascal. Ah, Pascal, ah, bagus. Pascal and M is? Mega Pascal. Ah, Mega Pascal, ah, very good like that. Yes. Sir. Okay, typically? <laughs> typically not effective at separating organic streams. So, now we understand that ultrafiltration, there are the characteristics of ultrafiltration and uh, not suitable for organic streams. So, there is some, so based on the waste we have, we can select our, uh, our uh, filtration okay there are different types of 
uh, membrane, we have uh, dead end, meaning that you have feed, permeate. Once hub is finished, it means that finish, hub is dead. Cross flow, this will be continuous. Uh, I, I give you last time example like sodium chloride. I want to remove from sea water. Okay, then I have continuous feed here. Okay, I have pressure coming from here. I will get clean water and then I will give, I will get retentate. This will be high concentration. This will be no concentration. I assume that it is zero. Okay. All right. Uh, nano filtration, who will read nano filtration? Who, who want to read? Nobody wants. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me read. Let me. Okay, Ahmad. Is... Filter. Okay, okay, okay. You, you read. Okay, okay. Use when low molecular weight solutes, such as inorganic salts, small okay. organic molecules, such as glucose and sucrose, have to be separated. Okay. Uses a membrane that is partially permeable to perform the separation, like in RO but nf pores are greater than ro pores what is nf ah uh, nf is what nf yeah nf is what here nano filtration nano filtration nano filtration okay okay <laughs> can operate at much lower pressures and passes some of the inorganic salts due to larger pore size. Pore size is typically one nanometer. Okay. Pressure difference is 10 to 20 bar. If we count in Pascal, how much? Maybe from 10 to 20 kilopascal, okay? All right. Uh, reverse osmosis, who read reverse osmosis? This we will talk about reverse osmosis in detail because it's very, very important. Okay, who will talk about this? Or we call it hyperfiltration. Who will talk about this? Who wants to read? Let me read, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, you see how it goes. Okay, okay. Uh, specifically, use the separation of dissolved ions from water, okay. dissolved solid, bacteria, viruses, salts, proteins, and other germs. Charge. Okay. Uh, Germ, germs here what, means what? Germs? Yeah. <laughs> Tatao. Tatao, sir. Ah, gems means like, <laughs> like, uh, like, al, uh, you know, algae, like, uh, the, the, yeah, it's, it's algae. micro, like micro, uh -huh. microorganisms. Huh? Uh, okay, cool. You have thousands of different microorganisms, uh, like bacteria, viruses, salt, protein, and other germs, like, uh, like maybe COVID also now and here, you can bring to Ooh. like uh, all, all kind of, uh, nice. A microorganism that make troubles for a human. Okay. Charge ions and all other materials greater than or equal to zero point zero zero one micro. If I want to put nano, how much here? Nano. Oh, yeah. Micro nano zero point zero 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 point zero zero zero. One nano. This will be one nanometer. One nano, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, essentially, a pressure driven membrane diffusion process for separating dissolved solutes. Okay. Relatively a low energy process, smallest pore structure, five uh, anti 15. <laughs> Uh, uh, angstrom. Uh, angstrom. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 0 0.5 nanometer. Okay. Okay. Uh, 0.5 nanometer until 1.5 nanometer. Right. Allow uh, only the smallest organic mo molecules 
and unchained solutes to pass through the semi-permeable membrane alone with the water. All right. Uh, under 95, under apa ya? Eh, more, more. Ah, uh, more Peter, 95. Peter, bigger, Peter, bigger than, Peter, than, Peter, than 95 to 99 percent of inorganic. Okay. And charged organics will also be rejected by the mem membrane due to charge repulsion established at the membrane surface. Okay. This is also another example of uh, size. Based on the size, how, how can we make uh, separation? If I have uh, here, this is the pressure. Huh? So here from low to high, huh? small to high. So here, microfiltration needs low pressure. Reverse osmosis needs high pressure. This pressure in, in bar, meaning that also in kilopascal, huh? So here, if I have, this is the contaminants or this is the solution with contamination. Here I have uh, different. I have bacteria, uh, protein, lactose, mineral, water. Which one small? Which one bigger? Uh, bacteria or minerals? Bacteria. Bacteria is bigger, but close. Uh, proteins or mineral bigger? Uh, proteins or minerals? Which one bigger? Protein. Protein bigger. So here, if you see here, this is the smallest is water right here. So meaning that water can 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 go easily without any problem. So you see here now coming here, only water coming. If you have using reverse osmosis, only water. Others like bacteria, protein, lactose, minerals will be will be what trapped. Will not go with clean water. If you go to nano filtration, what can go with water also? Minerals can go. Minerals like salt, like uh, sodium chloride. If I am he's making filtration for, for seawater, NaCl will go. But others like bacteria, suspended solid, algae, whatever, this will go with, uh, will be trapped, will not go, okay? And then if I have ultrafiltration, see here, lactose also protein, uh, water, mineral, lactose will go. However, protein, bacteria will not be uh, passed. And then finally here, all will go somehow except, except what you have here. Part of proteins also will go. And if it is smaller, will go. If bigger, will be trapped and bacteria will be trapped. So here you see from reverse osmosis to microfiltration, my bacteria will not allow to go. It means that will be trapped, right or wrong. But if I have virus, you think will go or no? Uh, here, not nothing about virus, but here, what do you think? Will go or no? Go. Why? Virus more than, yeah. More smaller than bacteria, bagus, right. All right. Uh, electrodialysis, uh, who read this one? Electrodialysis? I mean, okay. In the electrolysis yeah. process, is yeah. a semi-permeable barrier allows the presence of either positive Charge ion, pure ion, or negative charge ion, and ion. Okay. While excluding the passage of ions of the oblique charge. Okay. These semi permeable barriers are commonly known as ion exchange, ion selective, or electrolysis membranes. All right. So here, if you have uh, cations, will it be positive or negative? Cation. Positive. Positive, bagus. If you have anion? Negative. Will be negative. So it is based on the charge, uh, what you call it, waste will be separated by using electrodialysis. But in uh, blood, usually we have positive and we have negative ions. So there is special also solute that solvent can take both and make clean for cleaning the, the, the blood. 
And then this is the gas separation. We talk about that now membrane nowadays. It can also separate gases. Okay, we can read secret about this. Who will, who will read? We need one of the uh, maybe Auni or uh, Hamiza or girl. We need, uh, because boys already read. So, but no time. One of you. Shamsi already read. Okay. Any sir. Fatiha, um, Use for separation of gas mixture. Okay. Separation of gases is due to their different solubility and diffusivity in the polymer membranes. Uh, this uh, diff diffusivity, solubility, we studied uh, in uh, transport processes in mass transfer, if you remember. Can you give me one example of what we have studied during, during transport process or already forget? And we take some problem, some exercise. Can you give me one example, Bule? If you can remember. Mayor, you remember? Diffuse, uh, like absorb, absorption, I said. Okay, uh, if you have like, uh, like a tablet and you want to cover with plastic, uh, polyethylene or whatever, uh, after one year, they will tell you the validity of this uh, not valid more than one year or two years. Depends on the why they make that. What is the reason? If you have even paramol, whatever you have. Uh, the quality is degraded. And it's one of the reasons is not quality degraded. Oxygen will penetrate this layer. The, the the plastic layer polyethylene layer so we'll go inside once oxygen inside and moisture goes into the medicine it will be deteriorated it will be somehow will be oxidized so instead of uh, curing you maybe give you another troubles so this is why they calculate how long it takes for oxygen to penetrate this they studied this solubility and divisivity. This is very, very, very important. If you remember divisivity, we call it D, and it is meter per second square. You remember? Okay, and this, if they can't penetrate oxygen, this layer, meaning that they give you the time, maybe one year, two years, and you cannot use anymore. It will be somehow not good. But you can make it longer by yourself if you want. Much amana, you can make it longer. In refrigerator. If you keep in the refrigerator, usually refrigerator is dry. All oxygen, uh, water, moisture will go out. Will be by you know, will be will be will be taken out. Usually dry. And also low temperature. When you have low temperature, diffusion also very small. Diffusion very slow. So you can make it instead of one year, you make it two years by keeping it in the refrigerator. Okay, keep it for a long time. Okay, continue reading. Rate of permeation. No, no, permeation. Permeation. Ah, permeation, it means the ability of oxygen to penetrate, or gas, any gas, to penetrate any layer, like membrane. This is considered to be layer, and ability of gas to go inside. This membrane, it is called permeation, okay? Okay, proportional to pressure differential across the membrane, solubility yeah. of gas in the membrane, diffusivity yeah. of gas through membrane. Okay. Inversely, proportional to the membrane thickness. Okay, so if you have thickness or the thick membrane, this permeation will be low. If you have small thickness, this permeation will be high. Okay, driving force? Driving force, concentration difference. In mass transfer, if you remember, we study, if you remember that concentration is the driving force. 
What is the resistance in mass transfer? Tatao, forget. You don't know. Diffusion, mm -hmm. right? Something related to diffusion. Okay, in heat transfer, what is the driving force in heat transfer? This things, I think uh, once you finish your course, you throw everything, you don't, uh, I think, try to, to, to be in touch with your uh, previous subject. It will be helpful for you because, because science is connected to each other. So temperature driving force is uh, temperature is the driving force for in heat transfer, and resistance is the we call it the K. K is conductivity, if you remember. Understand? So try to 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 keep in touch with your uh, previous subject so that you can understand more. So this one, one example here, palladium, palladium membrane, uh, you can make hydrogen uh, separation. Okay. See here, this is, uh, you can, you can, if you have uh, air, you can here by, by membrane, you can separate oxygen from nitrogen. Okay. This uh, different types of, we will go to this one, maybe Nanti. Uh, perv, perval portion. Who read perval portion? Sapa? Okay. All right. I want to know. Who is Sapa? Aoni. Uh, okay, Aoni, okay. Uh, Evaporation, separation of uh, miscible liquids. Miscible means what? Miscible. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, miscible means that okay, if you have uh, low fatty milk and you have uh, full, full cream milk, uh, fat will be dissolved in milk. That is called miscible. If not dissolve in milk, it will be immiscible. Understand? So it means that you have fatty inside the solution. So this means that how to separate uh, fatty from liquids or any other components from, so it means that it looks like dissolve, but not really dissolve because dissolve means that ion positive and negative. Here we are not talking about ions and we are talking miscible and immiscible. Especially with they are talking when I'm talking about fatty, okay? Uh, liquid is maintained at atmospheric pressure on the feed side of the low membrane, and permeate is removed as a vapor because of a low vapor pressure existing on the permeate side. Okay. Differ from all other membrane processes because of the pro of Case change of the permit. Okay. Transport is affected by maintaining a vapor pressure gradient across the membrane. Okay. Yeah. Membrane use zeolite and polydimethyl silosine. Okay, this uh, looks like, uh, uh, for example, if in, in pharmaceutical uh, application, if you want to make separation of uh, how to say the valuable materials without damaging the formula what you do if you want to make vapor uh, at low temperature what you need to make any idea I want to, 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 to I, I have like distillation, but I don't want to make at very high temperature. I want to make it at low temperature. So what I need to make in order to, to make separation 
from liquid to gas uh, at low temperature. What I need to do? Use uh, low boiling point material. Use low pressure, not low, use low pressure. For example, now if I have uh, drinking water here and I want to boil this drinking water, how much I need to to make? This is one one atmosphere, right? How atmosphere? One one maybe one zero one point two kilo Pascal, right? Capital, capital. Yes. So if I want to make boiling point, how how much I need to how what what temperature I need to reach to make this vapor change from liquid to vapor? One hundred. Ah, one hundred degrees C. Bar goes. If I make under vacuum, I reduce instead of one zero one point two kilopascal, I make it fifty kilopascal, only fifty half. If made that under vacuum. You think how much temperature needed to boil this water? 50. Uh, not, uh, yeah, <laughs> not exactly 50, but will be reduced, maybe 60, 70, something like that. Okay. So if I have, for example, solution, and there is uh, like, uh, like medicine, and I want to make extraction, but not at high temperature, I want low temperature, so I need to apply something called vacuum. Vacuum distillation, meaning that I will reduce pressure. Based on that, also boiling point will be reduced, so no damage will come to the medical formula I have. So I, I maintain that, and I can be used in medicine. This also can be used in in membrane. You can uh, your like uh, after became gas. Through membrane, it can pass only the required materials you want to make separation for. Other gases will be not allowed to go with the uh, medicine you are looking for. Uh, maybe this you can you can see these three steps sequences: selective uh, sorption of one of the components of the liquid into the membrane on the uh, feed side, selective diffusion of the component across the membrane. Evaporation as permeate vapor into the partial vo vacuum. This partial vacuum meaning that uh, at low pressure applied to the undesirable of the membrane. I think uh, we get, go this one. Membrane distillations. Who read membrane distillation? Mm, I can. Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, is a process in which two liquid or solution at different temperature are separated by a porous hydrophobic membrane. Uh, by a porous, porous, porous. Forest, forest. Why, why porous? Porous. Por, porous. Porous means that. Porous means. Uh, have voids. Okay. Okay. The liquid or solution must not wet the membrane, otherwise the pores will be filled for capillary force. Capillary mm. force, we will, we will talk Nanti, about uh, reverse osmosis, what is the meaning of this very nano-sized particle pores. We will talk about the ideal case and when we are using membrane, what is the difference? Okay. Uh, reverse osmosis, not reverse, osmosis itself, where it can happen in, in general, where it can happen, where you can find this, uh, where water can go from, usually, usually water come from top to bottom, cannot go to up, right? Right or wrong? This is the normal, naturally. But now we can bring water from up to, from down to up, which in our daily life, where we can see? Mm -hmm. I think you study at high school uh, in plant. In plant, it, is, it looks like capillary. It means that like like membrane, very 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 small pores. So instead of water coming down, it goes up. So this is why you see the plant from down to top 
all green water is coming from why because of this this very 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 tiny pores that allow water to go from down to top it looks like capillary okay all right this we call it osmosis usually we say osmosis osmosis usually happening in plant you can see video in youtube about osmosis in plant you will understand uh, reverse osmosis will be the opposite we will talk we will see the draw after uh, what is osmosis what is reverse osmosis okay continue reading uh, membrane distillation is a type of low temperature reduced pressure distillation due at the use porous hydrophobic polymeric uh, membranes hydrophobic what we mean by phobic here like or dislike you know nowadays in it europe is like, in, it's like uh, in Europe, they are talking about Islam phobia, right? You hear about this or no? Yes. When they say yes. hear up, when they hear about Islam, they feel that they are, you know, they don't know Islam is the uh, the religion of mercy, uh, religion of dealing with people in a good way. They have bad image. Uh, some people they made this image in their mind. So when they hear about Islam, they have negative image about it, or it's called hydro or is is Islam phobia. What do you call it? So here dislike polymeric membrane. Okay, it means dislike. All right, we go to this one. Difficult to read. I, maybe I need to change the color. Uh, when I send you to the the presentation, maybe I need to to change. Uh, schematic uh, representations. Okay. Maybe this about the previous slide. I go this one. I don't want this one. Uh, this is synthetic polymer membrane. We have hydrophobic. We have Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic, this is like hydrophobic means what is the meaning here? Not uh, about Islam, about this. Hydrophobic means like what? Dislike water. This is dis this dislike water, but this dislike water. Okay. Okay. Meaning that when membrane, it means that on the surface, uh, if uh, hydrophobic, it means that uh, water cannot cannot uh, stand on the surface of the membrane, doesn't like, meaning that if there is oil, whatever, it will be okay. Hydrophilic means that absorb water, like water, okay? Uh, ceramic membrane, uh, we did many research here, maybe three, four students before, before Qiyam actually, before Qiyam, I think one of the students did about uh, ceramic membrane, which is very durable, very, very strong, and we made it for dyes, dyes separation, uh, color separation from uh, textile industry, we try to use it, and we got somehow good results. So we use the ceramic membrane here, like hollow ceramic, like this one. Okay, I have one. Can you see this one? This is this is ceramic membrane. We make it here in tati, and we use it for separation of color from textile industry. Can you see or cannot? Can see, cannot. Okay. Can see? I know. Maybe I, yeah. I, 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 I will show you here. Okay, can see or cannot? Uh, maybe here is better. Oh, because of light. Here, can see, cannot? Okay, say, okay. No <laughs> uh, this one. This is ceramic membrane, huh? Ceramic. Uh, we use it for uh, textile. Uh, industry remove color okay ceramic membrane usually this uh, for polymer usually nowadays they're using this in many many students also in tati trying to use this one like uh, polytetrafluoroethylene like teflon like polyvinyl dyne fluoride 
polypropylene, polyethylene, uh, cellulose esters, polycarbonate, uh, polysulfonate. This is uh, polyamide, polyether, amide, polyether, ether ketones. Ceramic membrane will be, we have aluminum oxide, zirconia oxide, titania oxide, silicon carbide, okay? In our case, we use uh, silicon carbide plus uh, fly ash, plus sand, uh, plus uh, poric acid, plus also sodium silicate. And we got uh, very durable, like this one, very strong, okay? Uh, this is the modules, is the simplest membrane element that can be used in uh, practice. Uh, module design must deal with the following issues. Economy. I can make a very good membrane, very strong and very good, but the cost is very mahal. So nobody care about it because nobody will buy. Especially when you are treating in a factory, you have tons of wastewater you need to treat. So if it is mahal, nobody will buy. Uh, minimum waste of energy. Energy use also it is about uh, about money. So if money is high, energy use is high, then people will not care about it. Uh, membrane integrity against damage and leaks. If durable can last for long, it better. Uh, one of the shortcomings of uh, poly uh, polymer, it is not strong, damage easily. But ceramic membrane. Is very strong and can stay long. Problem with this one also, the weight is very somehow heavy. And also preparation, you need high temperature. You need to go more than 1000 degrees C to prepare this kind of membrane. Okay. But for polyethylene, you don't need any temperature. With uh, mixing polymer together, and then you put in the coagulant, which is water, you can get the, the layer. And that layer can be used as membrane. Inshallah, your uh, final year project, when you go for final year project, you can do uh, something with membrane. Uh, number five, easy, or number four, easy egress of permeate. Means that ability for impermeate to go easily. Uh, permit the membrane to be cleaned. If blocked by suspended, uh, like like uh, by, by, we are talking about nano-sized particle, we are talking about uh, minerals about positive and negative ions about anion and cations so if i can clean this membrane will be very good if i cannot just one use and throw that is also not recommended so what i do with cleaning usually they use uh, what call it acid but not high concentration of acid low acidity uh, solution like uh, sodium chloride hcl but low concentration or sometimes alkali, like sodium hydroxide, but in low concentration. B pH not 14, very strong, make it uh, 13, something like that. Okay, when you have uh, acid, it will take all negative. When you have alkali, it will take all positive. So with both, you can make it very clean ceramic. This is how it looks from, from inside. So here your water coming. And from, see, from this, this is water coming here, way, uh, the waste coming. And here, by pressure applied, water will accumulate in the center here. This is here coming clean water only. Can you imagine or cannot? Can you imagine? If I have flow, if I have flow, flow like this one, and then by high pressure applied, those clean water will accumulate in the center here, okay? And then I will take clean water from here. And uh, from time to time, I need to, to clean. There are different types. We have plate and frame, like this one. I have spiral modules. Like this one, I make layers at the beginning, like polyethylene, whatever, all this polymer, and then I fold it, okay? And here in the center will be the clean water and other uh, what call it waste here module housing feed see coming from this is feed all this feed and this is collection by for clean water. Okay, you have another type which is tubular mod module 
tubular module, capillary module, you have also hollow fiber module. This about about the summary of the different membrane, which one good, which application can be used. And you have here uh, membrane fouling. In membrane fouling, meaning that uh, if blocked or how long it takes to block all pore size, meaning that it cannot filtrate anymore. And this is the one of the big issues of membrane in general. Uh, it, the beginning very active, very clean water coming, but after one day, two days, this, you know, this flow will be less and less, like what we see in filtration, because of the, not because of the cake, here there is no cake on the top, but the pore size will be blocked. Once pore size blocked, meaning that there is no any flow, you need to clean by uh, low acid alkali, uh, low acid alkali method either acid or alkali or both. Okay, it is a process where solute or particles deposit onto a membrane surface or into membrane pores in a way that degrades the membrane's performance. Okay, it looks like here, see, when flow coming from top and you have all particles here, no flow anymore. So you need to clean all this. Okay, uh, major uh foulants like organic materials uh biological growth biological growth at the beginning there is small strain of bacteria but with time this will be enhanced became bigger and bigger once became bigger and bigger it makes more blockage to the pore size uh, colloidal and suspended particle soluble salt uh, influential factors, membrane uh, properties, solution properties, operating conditions. Okay, this is method to reduce fouling, treatment of the feed solution. If you have uh, from west coming, not necessarily to go direct to membrane, make pre-treatment method, go to pre-treatment like filtration, normal filtration, make also another one is activated carbon because membrane is very mahal. So if you make everything with membrane will be damaged easily. So here pre-treatment, membrane uh, properties, uh, module and process uh, conditions and then cleaning, okay? This how to make heat treatment, pH adjustment, addition of complexing agent, uh, chlorination, adsorption onto activated carbon. Uh, membrane properties, narrow pore size distribution, hydrophilic membrane. If you make hydrophobic, will be hydrophobic, hydrophobic will not be for, uh, for waste based on water, will be for other waste, okay, like, like talking about oil like fatty, okay? But usually waste coming from a factory, waste usually uh, reach with water because for cleaning, for everything, usually water there. Number three is uh, reducing concentration, uh, polarization, uh, increasing flux velocity using low flux membrane. Uh, for cleaning, hydraulic cleaning, mechanical cleaning, chemical cleaning. Hydraulic cleaning will be by water cleaning. Mechanical, maybe you make like vibration. Chemical, you add, like I told you, HCl or sodium hydroxide. This is how to go for advantage. Ah, uh, this, who will read? Who helped me to read? I think there are uh, not too much slides. Not too much slides, but we are here. I want to go here. Oh, very sorry. I, I use another. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm fouling here. Okay, I suppose to stop here, but it is okay, no problem. Uh, this, I already make it uh, for you.
We talk about ultra, micro, ultra, nano, reverse osmosis. And here, uh, reverse osmosis process plant, you see here. This one is very huge plant. See how many? And this uh, may be in countries where there is no drinking water. So they use this for from seawater. They clean huge amount and then they bring to houses. Uh, osmosis is a naturally occurring phenomena and one of the most important process in nature. It is a process where a weaker saline solution will tend to migrate to a strong saline solution. Machamana, here. If I have pure water here and I have sodium chloride water here and I, there is no membrane, there is no here any membrane, what will happen? Salt will go this way or flow will go this way from salt water to fresh or from fresh to salt? Which one? Without membrane. Who can tell me? And based on our study in transport processes, we talk about mass transfer. We say that usually flow will be from high concentration to low concentration, right or wrong? Right. Right. So in this case, if there is no membrane here, flow will be from salt water to fresh water or from fresh water to salt water. Which one? Fresh water to salt water. <laughs> no, no membrane here. No membrane. No membrane. Here, high concentration, right? This is pure, right? Yes. This is salt ada. So here, high concentration. So if there is no membrane here, if there is no semi-permeable membrane, flow will be from here to here. Will be from salt to fresh. Meaning that till became same concentration. Still became homogeneous solution. Right or wrong? Right. This right. is the normal way. This is the normal way. If I have here uh, salt water, I have and make pipe between them. Definitely, from high concentration, we go to low concentration. Till became same concentration. But when I put here, this looks like in the plant. This look like this is what we call it osmosis, meaning that it is the opposite of the rule. Flow will be from fresh to salt. Usually will be from fresh to salt. When when I have membrane, permeable, semi permeable membrane, this is the normal way. If I have, if I don't have, flow will be opposite from salt to fresh. Once I have this one, will be from fresh to salt. Understand very clear or no? Clear, no? Yes, sir. So once from fresh water to salt water, and here you see here high pressure. If I want to calculate delta B, Machamana, I go here very easy. I see how much delta H here. I cannot read right here. I don't know why. I will go here, delta H, rho G. I can calculate delta B here or no? Because here not the same level. Yes. Why became not the same level? Because fresh water go to salt water and became high. So here, in order to maintain the same, what I need apply, I apply here something called pressure. So once I apply pressure, always I will get from here clean water. This clean water will be taken. So this is the way how See here, I applied pressure here, okay? And then water flow will be this way. And here I will take always pure water. So here, if I assume this is the contaminant, this is the membrane I have, and here continuously flow, always I will take clean water. Because of what? Because of reverse osmosis. What reverse osmosis need? Need to apply high pressure. Faham tafaham. If I ask you what is osmosis, what is reverse osmosis, can you answer or cannot? Mm. 
because this is in your book. In your book, uh, if you have your book, uh, chapter 14 is well, 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 well described in your book also. Ah, uh, Ado here. Uh, oh, sorry, 13, not 14. 13, uh, chapter 13. If you can see your, uh, your book, 883. 883, page 883. Can you open or cannot? You have the book or no? Other, yes. other. Okay, open 883 and tell me the title, 13.9. 13.9, what it says? Reverse osmosis membrane processes. Fargus. Go to the next page. Go to the next page. Uh, figure 1391. You can see the, the thing I I explained to you now. This is in page 884. And there is example. This we will we will explain next time. Uh, next week we will explain about the problems, huh? How to solve the problems. Okay. All right, not all right. All right, sir. All right. All right sir. Membrane fouling. We already talked about membrane fouling, and then measure. Uh, we talk much We already talk about this one. We already read, and then we talk about the advantage. Okay, uh, advantage. This is also very good about membrane. I think you need to read advantage. What it says? Who can read? We have two page more. Who want to read? Norin, no, Bilom Lagi, not, not read yet. Bilom, Bilom. Yeah, okay, read. Okay, okay, read. Okay. No specific chemical knowledge is needed for operations. Okay. No complex instrumentation. Okay. Basic concept is simple to understand. Why, why it is simple? Because you have, you have flow, you have membrane, you have permeate, you have written tape, right? So very easy, like small, easy filtration. The, the, how to make the member, it is a big issue. Tabi to apply, to use, not a big issue. One of this evidence is in our homes, everyone have this, uh, this uh, filtration or membrane, or you call it membrane filtration. Okay, so basic concept is simple to understand. Okay. Separation can be carried out continuously. Okay. Membrane processes can easily be combined with other separation processes. Okay. Separation can be carried out under mild condition. Mild condition. What we mean by mild, mild. conditions? What we mean by mild condition, Orin? Mild condition means normal temperature, normal pressure, at like now 25 degree and uh, one atmosphere, we can make separation. No need to apply very high temperature or high pressure. Of course, if we are talking about reverse osmosis, we need to apply, not temperature, we need to apply pressure, okay? So mild condition, it means like normal, like uh, now 30 degree C here, maybe up to 40, this is mild condition. But when I go to 100, it is not mild condition, it is already high temperature, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Membrane properties are variable and can be adjusted. Adjust. Can be adjusted, variable. Okay. Variable means that there are many parameters, okay? Greater design flexibility in designing system. All right. Disadvantage, who will read disadvantage? Who will read? Okay. Okay. Membrane. Ahmed, you're very, very active, Ahmed. Okay, Bagus. Okay, okay. Membrane? Membranes are relatively expensive. Okay. Certain solvents, colloidal solids, especially graphite and other residues, can quickly permanent and permanently destroy the membrane surface. Okay. Emotions are not chemically separated, so secondary oil recovery can be difficult. Okay. 
Synthetics are not practically treated by this method. Biofouling okay. and membrane fouling. Okay. Low membrane lifetime and generally okay. low selectivity. Low selectivity, okay. I think that is uh, applications. Uh, Okay, who read, who read the applications? I see. Okay, go ahead. Concentration. The, the desired component is present in a low concentration and solvent has to be removed. Okay. Purification and desirable increases have to be removed. Okay. Fractionation. Uh, a yeah. mixture must be separated into two or more desired components. All right. I think this theory you can you can read uh, future challenges like what we need to do in research. For example, if you are working in uh, factory, not factory, in uh, in industry related to membrane, what is needed to be done? Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll go for this kind of uh, R and D. So you need to know what kind of uh, challenges you have. What kind of challenges we have? Who can read? Maybe three challenges. I read, sir. Okay. Development and ad ad advancement of nanomaterial for effective membrane string strength separation. Okay. Overcoming the problem of membrane fouling. Fouling, okay to design membranes for high selectivity. So we this coming from the disadvantage, for every disadvantage, we can modify by uh, those uh, challenges. I think that is all.